I'm Michael Barden. I'm a project engineer for Wapaka Foundry. I've been with the company for 10 years now. I've been a project engineer for six of those years. As a project engineer, we think of ways to make the equipment we build better, faster, safer. That's really our job, just to improve on whatever we can. Sometimes it's as simple as one piece of equipment that needs to be built and installed inside the plant. And then sometimes it's more elaborate than that, where it's a few pieces of equipment that tie into existing machinery. All the equipment has to fit together and run as one big piece of the puzzle. We're part of the preliminary design, the final design, the installation, we oversee the installation. We are always trying to find new and better ways to do things that most likely hasn't been done before. I definitely don't consider what I do as a, an office, a typical office position. Um, I would say almost 30% of your time you're out on the, the shop floor working with operators, maintenance personnel, your fabricators. Definitely each project's somewhat different. Sometimes it actually begins with an operator on the floor who comes up with an idea and then we start with the brainstorming. We come up with a preliminary plan. Once we get some ideas in our head, we start actual design work using CAD systems. We have a 2D system and a 3D system. Once we get our design, we start modeling it up and then make drawings from there. The system we use can do analysis on it, so we can definitely put it in motion and simulate what it's gonna do in the end. For engineering, math is your ally. Uh, you use it constantly every day. You're running numbers for anything and everything you do. Do whatever you can to improve your math skills because that's gonna be such a huge advantage. We're always trying to improve speed, quality, safety. Wapaka Foundry is safety number one. To improve on safety is to have robotics. To improve on efficiency is to automate things. The addition of robots is a great thing to handle some of these parts that are hard on the body. Heavier castings or awkward castings. The robot's there to help us along with that. I worked on the farm as a younger person and uh, constantly was working on things and repairing items and then trying to come up with things that did make the farm run smoothly. And that interested me. That's why I decided to go into the mechanical design field. I went to uh, Fox Valley for the mechanical design degree. When I graduated, I started as a production worker in Wapaka Foundry. And then one day, uh, human resources from Wapaka Foundry came, gave me a call and told me that there was a job opening that I would qualify for. And if I was interested, they'd be happy to have me come interview. So I did, and I ended up getting the job, and that's what brought me here today. One of our main goals is to promote from within the company. They can bring all that knowledge that they've gained from their time here at Wapaka and combine that with their schooling, and it just makes them the best qualified person for the job. I didn't think I'd be anywhere close to home going in this type of field. It typically is a field that you'll find in a larger city. So being able to work 15 minutes from home where I originally grew up, where I know most of my friends and family are. It's great. It's definitely a cool job. Uh, I probably couldn't see myself doing something else. Sometimes when you walk through the plant and, and you'll catch yourself in an area that a lot of the ideas, the design work came from you, you tell yourself, hey, look at that, I built that. It's just a great feeling. 